Falk Wolf 190A5 is not the easiest plane to fly in simulator, fight with, or land, but once you have it dialed in just right, it's one of the more powerful planes in the game with 11 skins to unlock. If or when Birds of Steel becomes backward compatible to play on the Xbox One, you will be able to take screenshots and videos like the one you are viewing right now on the Falk Wolf 190 about to land. All Xbox 360 games will work with Xbox One's Game Capture DVR and Screen Capture feature, which you can also stream and save to a Windows 10 computer. Birds of Steel needs more votes and comments. As we are closer to 2016 and into the new year, I predict the vote count will climb considerably. The vote count now should be around 5,000 votes, but as of this recording, it is now only hitting past the 400 mark. I have 12 videos up on YouTube. 10 are solely made with Birds of Steel, with the other two made with IL-2 Birds of Prey. My total view count for my videos is just about to surpass 16,000 views and I inform new players I encounter in Birds of Steel about my videos daily. My most popular video, Tips and Hints, Episode 1, dealing with map overlaying and DLC, is on the verge of hitting 4,500 views. If you subtract non-Xbox 360 players who have viewed my videos, I think it's reasonable to assume that if all of the Xbox 360 players of Birds of Steel who have viewed my videos would have also voted, the vote count today would be at least 5,000 votes or more. Now voting is only part of getting Burgess Steel to the Xbox One. Microsoft has to get permission from Konomi, the game's publisher, to allow this to happen. Back in June, when backward compatibility was first announced, I contacted Konomi's customer support website and generated a ticket number, and asked Konomi to allow Birds of Steel to play on Xbox One. I wanted to wait until Xbox 360 games were actually starting to play on the Xbox One to suggest Birds of Steel players to also contact Konomi's customer support website and start generating ticket numbers. I think this has to be done so it can be attacked on two fronts, voting at xbox.com and contacting Konomi. I have a link in this video's YouTube description page to Konomi's customer support website. On Konomi's European game website, it provides a phone number in the United Kingdom for our Birds of Steel friends in Europe to call if you want to go that one extra step and also ask over the phone to allow Birds of Steel to play on the Xbox One. You have to dig a little further in the United States, but I found a phone number and fax number in California, as well as for Japan and Seoul, Korea. I will also post the phone numbers in the description page of this video. Microsoft has publicly stated that support for the Xbox 360 will end in 2016. In this IGN article dated September 4th, 2013, Microsoft announced that it will support the Xbox 360 for three more years before phasing it out in 2016. In this CNET article dated August 13th, 2015, titled, Retail video game industry begins bidding farewell to Xbox 360 and PS3. It comments on Microsoft publicly stating that support for the console will end in 2016. Microsoft is expecting massive migration this holiday season of Xbox 360 owners to the Xbox One, 
as reported by Game Union in its October 29, 2015 article. The month of November is important to Microsoft, especially the 12th, 15th, and the 22nd. The original Xbox was released on November 15th, 2001. The Xbox 360 was released on November 22nd, 2005. The Xbox One was released on November 22nd, 2013. And on November 12, 2015, Xbox One's operating system was upgraded from Windows 8 to Windows 10 and Xbox 360 backward compatible games started to play on the Xbox One. There is another date that is important to Microsoft. Larry Herb, also known as Major Nelson, one of the main spokespersons for Xbox and Xbox Live, reported on his February 5, 2010 blog that Microsoft will discontinue Xbox Live service for the original Xbox on April 15, 2010. I find it interesting that he refers to the original Xbox as an Xbox One in the second sentence. I wonder if he knew back then that the third Xbox console would be called an Xbox One. Now, let me be clear, I am not making a prediction on Microsoft's publicly stated comments on which day in 2016 Microsoft will discontinue Xbox Live service for the Xbox 360, but if you consider the launch dates in the month of November, Microsoft may follow the month of April to end support for the Xbox 360 as it did for the original Xbox. We are all fortunate to have games like Birds of Steel and IL-2 Birds of Prey on the Xbox 360. I do my best to try and keep informed on what is coming next in regards to new flight simulator games, but I have not heard or seen anything new coming to the Xbox One. That is why it is so important for Microsoft to get permission from Konami to make Birds of Steel backward compatible to play on the Xbox One. Your Xbox 360 will still work after Microsoft discontinues support and drops it from Xbox Live, but it will become a standalone console with no multiplayer option. And any achievements, skins, decals, and planes you have not unlocked that needs multiplayer access to do so will be lost unless Birds of Steel becomes backward compatible to play on the Xbox One. In closing, I ask of the Birds of Steel community to continue to support this great game by encouraging other players to vote at xbox.com and to contact Konomi's customer website and start generating ticket numbers. The Xbox 360 game library is huge and Birds of Steel deserves to be one of the games to make the transition to Xbox One. <laughs>